Today is Monday, December 5th, 2011. You guys probably won't see this until Tuesday, December 6th, because I just got home from uh, a long day of work and school, so I didn't get a chance to make the video until now. So, before I start this video, I really want to thank everyone who sits there and watches my videos. I just noticed that I have 50 subscribers and I never thought that I'd even have like 20. Um, I know it's not seem or doesn't seem like it's a big accomplishment, but to me that's a big deal. Uh, even like the people commenting on my videos or um, or seeing that I have like 500 views on a single video, that's a big deal. I just want to thank everyone basically for everything. So, first off, right here, this looks very, very appealing, but sad to say that both of these um, Revoltec war machines do not belong to me. Uh, I was at a comic store on South Street in Philadelphia, where I live, and I came across uh, this war machine, and I've, I've been wanting it forever. There was three of them total. And so I'm just like kind of looking at it and I open up the case and I happen to see a little tiny sticker in here next to this sticker, which I'm going to tell you what this one says first. $54.99. Now that's how much it goes for on like Big Bad Toy Store and other collector sites like that. Um, but that little green sticker right there says 25% off. I lost it. I, I was like, what? And it, it seems to happen that when I was looking at this, I realized I'm supposed to be doing Christmas shopping for everyone else. And <laughs> I had to check my bank account, so after I did all that, I realized I had enough. So uh, I called up my buddy Kenny in Iron Lantern uh, and asked him, I was like, is that a good price? And he goes, that's a great price. He's like, how many are there? Can you buy me one? And I'll pay you back. And of course, I had to get one for him. So here's yours, dude. Uh, it doesn't say 25% off, but yes, it was 25% off. Uh, I think the total came to $45 a piece, which is uh, <laughs> great for me. I've never ha owned a Revoltec figure ever, so... I'm very stoked to have this. And I was with my buddy Steve, who I go to school with, and he is not like a figure collector or anything, and he just wanted this. He's seen it, and he's like, this is amazing. I need to buy one. So Steve bought the third one, and we seriously bought out the store, which we were lucky because the guy told us that... Um, it's good that we got them when we did because they're so rare to come by, like especially for buyers, like comic shops and stuff, that these were going to be his last set that he had. So I'm really pumped to get this. Uh, I'm probably not going to crack it open for a little while, at least maybe till after Christmas because I got so much other stuff to check out. Before I start this one, I want to give a little shout out to Ian, the Ninth Wonder. He's on the ACBA community and also on YouTube. Uh, we were, I posted a picture of this, of what I picked up, and he, you know, he commented on it and all, and I, I came up with this term where it, it, I realized that I'm like a professional figure hunter because I find things everywhere. Uh, for instance, these three right here, I found at this, um, it was like a little kid's um, clothing slash toy store where like people like donate or sell their um, lightly used products. Usually everything's in box or whatever. But yeah, um, for the Scarlet Witch, it was $4.50. $4.50 for um, Wonder Man over here. And then Hulk's, I guess since he's a bigger figure, they had to charge $6.50. Now, they had um, another Scarlet Witch, which I passed on just because I didn't have enough money on me. I only had like about 20 bucks or something like that. And um, 
they also had a invisible woman from like the movie series. So uh, when I when I got all rang up or rung up, I don't know what's correct, rang or rung, but either way, uh, the lady told me that they were having a fifteen percent off sale for action figures, and I was like, hell yes! I was like, this is awesome. I don't have any of these three. I'm probably gonna keep them in box. Uh, I know that they're pretty common to come by, um, so I'll probably find them loose somewhere else, so, yep, uh, keep hunting, like, you know, look around, they, don't even, like, don't go to your comic shops, don't go to, like, I mean, do it if you have the money, you know, don't, don't bother with eBay and stuff like that. I, I can't give you the hints to where I get most of my figures at just because, it, you know, it spoils the fun. But, you know, use your imagination. F figure out where you can um, buy stuff at. You know, pop in little stores, like little little things here and there. And, um, you know, you might come across something like uh, garage sales and, and uh, flea markets, you know. All right. Alright, so I'm finally back into getting some Transformers. This was my specialty, and um, for some reason I just dropped the line for a little bit because it seems like a lot of the figures were lacking um, a lot of the stuff that I really originally collected them for. You know, they were coming out with the characters I grew up on. Not that I don't know a lot about Transformers, I'm not trying to boast either there, but um, you know, I, I like my original characters. I love the Transformers uh, Classics line, or whatever you want to call it, because they've been named different things, but with, uh, you know, like all the, all the original characters, and even making them look, you know, kind of like the cartoon. The movie figures are okay. I, I'm not a big fan of a lot of the movie figures, but I'll pick up some of them here and there. Um, I didn't really like the movie, to be honest, but I saw this air raid, and I had to pick them up, and I had to open them, because that's what, I, that's what got me collecting. I'm into the whole engineering of how these things work, and they transform, and it's just, I, I love it. I love it. I don't know why I'm just, like, addicted to them. So he's, he's really cool, really, really cool figure, um... For at least for a movie figure, but I don't like what they did with the with the cockpit of the jet back there, and how he doesn't have a hand on this arm, but has this like extended little um, tail thing, and his joints are really loose, and this is loose, so it's kind of annoying. But he's a nice looking figure, uh, a unique transformation for for jets because a lot of the jets that have uh, come out are pretty much all the same. And uh, I believe he and Terror Dive have probably the most unique um, transformations that I've seen. Um, and then in the back, I got a Dark Steel, which I don't know who this character is at all. Uh, I'm probably sounding like I don't, you know, a noob or whatever, but I really don't know who he is. But there was a lot of hype about him on. Um, T, not TF Source, the other one, uh, tformers.com, and uh, a lot of people were, like, really excited about this guy. He looks like a panther to me, so it could have something to do with, I don't know, something. I really don't know. But I'm probably going to keep him in box, just because I really don't care to open him. And then we got the um, Transformers Prime Starscream, which... Looks awesome. It's it's the first edition. Uh, I don't know if that means that they're not making them like this anymore, or that's just how they come, or you know whatever. But I'm probably going to keep this in box because it says first edition. I, I just I don't I haven't read up on the um, the prime action figures, but I I have him in the um, New York Comic Con uh, two pack with RC and Bubblebee, which I have been to already. I, I wish I would have got two just to keep one in box, but whatever. And then I got this little uh, Megatron. See, this is this is kind of like what I was talking about, the how the Classics line is. It made them look kind of like their G1 cells, 
kind of, you know, reminisce, reminiscent. I don't know. I don't know what word it is that I'm looking for. But, yeah, he looks like his handgun, which is really cool. And this is just to go with my other guys that are in one other haul video that I have. So that's, that's pretty much it for the Transformers. Alright, so here's a figure that I've been looking forward to um, for quite some time now. I, I followed when this was going to be released because I like this game. It frustrates the hell out of me playing it online, and it can be really annoying when you got people that are like, God at it. But it's a fun game, uh, and I, I did a little talk about it before, and I also did a review on my... Um, I forget what year it was, uh, but San Diego Comic-Con uh, Gr Grenadier uh, Lampant, which is a really neat figure, but go check that out, that review. And uh, But anyway, back to this guy. So in this, in this first wave, it was Clayton Carmine. Um, uh, what's her name? Anya and uh, Marcus Phoenix. And I saw all three of them at Toys R Us, which I was... I was hoping to pick up. I, I really wanted to get them, um, but I ran, I didn't have enough money, and I was only going to get one. Originally, I wanted Anya really bad because uh, I seen her articulation was nice when I was looking at the previews of the figures, and uh, the sculpt was really, really cool. So I'm looking at Anya, and every single one is cockeyed. That's the opposite of cross-eyed. And... Um, I passed up on it, and I, I got Clayton, who I also wanted to, uh, because he's just so so BA in the game if you played the campaign. Uh, Marcus, I know he'll be there eventually. Like, you know, like, he's... His uh, character will be the least buyed character. Um, I don't know which one's the rarest of the three in this series, but uh, I know he'll probably go fast, and so will Anya, but uh, I'll, I'm going to wait and see if I can find an Anya that's... Not cockeyed. So I see that a lot of other people bought these figures on the ACBA, ACBA community page on Facebook. And not only I, but like 15, 16, or even more other people have had the same problem with finding the, the Anyas with the cockeyed. Some people even said cross-eyed. Like... I, I'm not gonna buy that figure. I'm sorry. If it if the paint apps suck on it, I'm not gonna buy it. Um, player select is usually pretty good. Like all, all the paint apps were nice on uh, Carmine here. I, I looked at three different ones, and his was the best, except for he has like a little weird um, mark on his eye. But you know, and someone else also pointed out that he looks uh, really cartoony or. His, like, head sculpt isn't quite like this, which I would have preferred it to look, like, deeper and, you know, more menacing like like him there instead of that, I don't know, bubbly-looking helmet he's got on. Either way, it looks great. Uh, I've heard a lot of good stuff about it. I like the way it's sculpted and everything, so I might keep them in package. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but, yeah, be on the lookout for these figures. They're really nice. Alright guys, so this pretty much wraps it up for this week. Um, I'm currently working on a Facebook page for um, this channel where people can add me and I'll, you know, communicate and whatever. And just so that I can put up stuff like some ACBA pictures and um, stuff that I'm trying to sell and things that I'm looking for. So, um, you know, when I, when I get it, I'll, I'll put the uh, link in the underbar here and you guys could just add me. I'd be, you know, happy to add everyone. Alright, until next time, have a good one.